Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so I may have lied in the last video, saying that it was the last anime I was going to do a first impression on, because I forgot about this one. <laughs> I don't know how, because it's actually one of the better ones this season. I guess because I've been just kind of all over the place this last week or so. But today we're talking about Parallel World Pharmacy. It is a freaking gem, let me tell you. This is also one that I've read the manga for, and uh, it was just not only cute and adorable, but, like, action-packed and just great as well. So, let me tell you about it, all right? So, it is about this world-famous medical researcher from our world. Um, his name is Kanji uh, Yukitani, and he gives his all to cure his patients by, like, developing new medicines and stuff like that. Um, and this all sprouted from when he was younger and his sister was in the hospital. I forget what she had. It, it might have been cancer or something. Um, but anyway, they did not have the ability to save her. And so she ended up passing on, which led him to decide to become a, a doctor, a medical researcher, so that he could you know, prevent this from happening to other kids, other people, basically save as many lives as he could. Uh, essentially. Well, he really works himself hard and ends up working himself to death. And after he goes to bed one, well, it's more like taking a nap. I think he's only taking like a 45 minute nap. Um, he ends up passing away and wakes up as a 10 year old child in like a medieval fantasy world with like magic and stuff like that. This child's body was apparently struck by lightning, and his name is Pharma. And so he, he gets the, the memories of the kid. Well, some of them, it's sort of like some come back to him at times. He remembers some things, but other things. Kind of like normal amnesia. If you like have a, a serious accident happen to you, like getting struck by lightning, for example. But he retains all of his knowledge from his previous world. Stuff like medical, medical knowledge, which is just great. Because Palma, Pharma, whatever you want to call him, he happens to be the child of the Demetiques family, who is a family of pharmacists, doctors, whatever you want to call them. And he can use his specialty and his knowledge here. So it's, it's the perfect fit for him. Not only that, but there's like blessings and guardian deities that bestow upon people these things called divine arts, which is the magic. So he can use like water spells and stuff like that, create ice, all that kind of good stuff. But not only that, <coughs> the lightning incident has left these like, uh, I forget the thing he calls them. He calls them the scientific name for like the, uh, the burn marks that you get after getting struck by lightning. Um, so, like, the lightning, like, electric-looking, like, circuitry and stuff like that. He has that on his, uh, his biceps. And uh, he finds out that he can create material. Uh, and when he does that, those, those glow. So it's like a, a gift from the, the god. Uh, I forget the god's name. It's like, it starts with a P anyway. And it, it kind of sounds like pharmacy or pharmaceutical or something like that. In a weird way, but yeah. So I think it's like his his right hand, no, his, his left hand, he can create substances. He can create gold, um, silver, that kind of stuff. Uh, just like if he knows the basic elements, he can create the, the basic thing. He can't create like highly complex things. Like he couldn't create a chair, for example. But like uh, if he knows the chemical makeup of it, he can create drugs, which is perfect for him. And in his right hand, uh, he can like make those substances like completely disappear. So we can just break down matter, right? So we can create and destroy matter, which is cool, right? But not only that, he discovers that he has the ability in his left hand, if he holds it over his eye, that he can see like these blue glowing blotches on people if they're sick. And where the, uh, like, glowing blotch is it determines, like, where their illness is. So, like, if you have a lung problem, it would be in the lungs. If they have, like, a sprained finger, it would be on the finger. 
And if he looks at it, he can kind of see what's going on and he can try and identify the problem by like just thinking of the, the disease or the problem. And if he gets correct, it like glows a brighter blue. And then he can suggest treatments. And if he has the right treatment, it'll like fade or go away. Um, if the treatment is something that can be cured, it'll like disappear or something or it changes like a certain color. If it's something that he has to like treat to make it go down but not completely go away, it'll also change a different color, something like that. It's a really cool concept and like perfect for him. Also, if he has, I think his right hand, if he holds it up to his eye, he can like zoom in or something, like a microscope, essentially. But uh, yeah, that's basically all of his, his abilities that we're talking about here. But it, it's perfect for this world, perfect for his family, and perfect for the guy he was in our world. Because he can help people with medical knowledge. Because in this world, the medical knowledge is not great. They're still doing things like uh, making sacrifices. And well, sacrifices, like they sacrifice a goat and then like, use its blood for stuff. Or uh, they have, like, on the full moon, you must do this particular ritual for this medicine to be imbued with power so that you can use that medicine to heal people. Kind of just weird, like, stuff like that. But not all the medicine is like that. But it's all very, like, weak. Like, for example, the, uh, for, like, fevers, basically, Pharma looked at the thing that his father made, which was, like, a potion-looking thing. And was like, oh, that's just like a normal energy drink. It doesn't really have anything to fix a fever. It, it just gives you energy. Um, and that's kind of what happens. So he begins to use his medical knowledge. And two episodes in, he um, hasn't really expanded much. He's still kind of figuring out his abilities, doing what he can. Um, in episode two, he uh, starts helping the servants and whatnot by giving them, like, for example, their hands are like rough or dry because of all the you know, manual labor they do with, like, cleaning and using water and stuff like that. So he makes them, like, hand ointment kind of stuff for that. He also helps with, uh, like, some butlers, like, bad knees and stuff like that, essentially. You know, all this different stuff that uh, he can spot with his abilities. And he helps them, you know, get better. Uh, however, at the end of the second episode, he ends up going to, or it's said that they are going to go to visit the Empress, and uh, this becomes a key part for the future of the show. So it is great. And it's very, like, touching and sad when you hear about the main character's past and, like, how he's doing all of this for his younger sister who's no longer here and all that kind of stuff. It's really adorable and cute. But, yeah. And then uh, it's, just, it's just great. What can I say? Now, I did mention there's some action stuff, and that happens a little bit later. It's mostly focused on him being a doctor and a pharmacist, essentially, where he helps identify problems, and he makes medicine for it, and then he distributes medicine. Uh, because in this society, in the second episode, it's told that commoners can't really get medical treatment or medicine because it's just so expensive and because the doctors are all busy with the nobility and stuff like that. Uh, and he wants to kind of change that and actually help everyone by making medicine not only affordable, but also medicine that actually works, because a lot of it maybe, maybe does not work, you know. All that kind of stuff. But it's a, it's a great story, and there is some action in it. It's not action-packed, uh, but there is, like, action here and there where he does use the magic and stuff like that to do various things throughout the story. Uh, but that's neither... It's not a huge focus. The main focus is that he is being a doctor and using the skills he has from his past in this world to help the progress of the world. And it's, it's the kind of story, the kind of isekai that I just absolutely love. It's where the main character like tries to help the world he gets put into, right? It's stories like that that are just so, so great because it's not just like, Oh, I'm going to be an adventurer and just, you know, go around making my own, you know, fantasy life come to life, right? It's like he's helping people. He's advancing not only um, his life, but the lives of people around him and the technology and spreading information around and doing all this great stuff. You know, it's just really cool to, like, use your knowledge to do things. And there's a lot of manga like that out there. 
not many anime uh, particularly have that where the main character gets isekai or goes to another world or whatever you have it and they actually use their knowledge from the previous world to make this world better because not everyone has like specialized knowledge you know like uh, think of it if you, if you got sent to another world what really could you do like do you have knowledge of how to make a steam engine of how electricity works do you have knowledge of how to you know craft things or how to like forge steel and stuff like that right so it's like only certain people like this guy this kid uh well this he's not a kid he's he's my age he's 31 um he has the knowledge of pharmaceuticals and he can use that knowledge to advance that particular thing he doesn't have knowledge of like metalworking or like anything like that to advance in that area of expertise, but he's really good at pharmacy stuff, right? And so he can focus on that and help the world in that regard. And even if it's just like, man, I just really want more like shows or more manga and anime that have a main character who's highly specialized in one particular thing. And they get sent to another world and they just use that knowledge to make that world better right just so good you, you love to see like people helping other people and not just like being a goody two-shoes about it like i'm a hero so i gotta help everyone but it's instead like they're driven by something to do it right and in this case it is the death of his younger sister uh is what motivates him to help others, you know, it's not just like, well, I'm a hero, so I got to help everyone. Or it's like, I have a strong sense of justice, so I got to help everyone. It's instead, I had tragedy happen to me, so I don't want to have tragedy happen to anyone else, right? It's a very good story, and uh, I love it for that. So definitely check this one out. Uh, I know I like, gave a ranking in the last video, but this one's definitely top five now that I think about it, now that I remember it was here. I don't know why I forgot about this one. I guess I didn't have like a, a thumbnail saved for it in my folder. And at the time I was distracted by everything else going on. So, but yeah, this is a great one. Definitely check it out. It's a, a very sweet story, a very interesting story uh, that happens with, you know, disease and stuff like that. And just chef's kiss, just mwah, just beautiful. Anyway, everyone, that'll be all from me. And this should be, I say should because maybe there's another one that I'm forgetting about, okay? That uh, I might not be recalling. Um, but yeah, I believe that is all for me for now. So this should be all the anime. Anyway, thank you all for listening, hanging out, and all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of this one, and we will go from there. So until next time, bye for now.